so much for tuning back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I am going to be refilming my makeup storage and organizational collection video. There was a problem with my first one and YouTube let me know so instead of just re-editing the video that I had, I'm going to go ahead and refilm it because I do want to get a little bit more specific. If you have any requests, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or tweet me. My Twitter handle should be here somewhere. Or message me about anything from skincare, acne, MAC products, makeup in general, anything, feel free to contact me. I make videos every other day, so if you have any requests, they would be greatly appreciated. Again, like I said in my first video, I am not trying to brag. This video was requested by my subscribers, and I also wanted to do this video to kind of see where my makeup area is kind of at. I will link down my first makeup collection and storage video, which is completely different, I think. I still have the same dresser vanity table that I had in my old video, but how where I keep the majority of my makeup has changed and I love it. Everything that you will see here has pretty much been bought by me. Very little of it, very little of it has been gifted or anything. My parents don't just give me money to waste on makeup. I work for my makeup and above everything I love collecting makeup and I know that sounds really weird but I'm not gonna sit here and say I have used every single product of my collection because I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't. My brother likes to collect coins, other people like to collect stamps. I love to collect makeup. It just it really does make me happy and I know that sounds weird and cliche especially here on youtube but it's true i'm i can i probably could never use all the makeup that i have or the makeup that i probably will have but i don't know it just really makes me happy <laughs> so without further ado i hope you all enjoy it i am not going to go through each and every single product if you want me to or if you want me to do a separate video just on my blushes, my MSFs, my eyeshadow palettes then feel free to let me know like i said i make videos every other day so I would love to have your request and thank you all so much for watching I hope you all enjoy the video and I will see you all soon this is my makeup area as you can see I still have the old vanity dresser table that I had in my old makeup collection video if you want to see that I will definitely link that down below before I get started on here I will share with you all this and here I have dirty brushes which I have to wash here I have my cleaner for my glasses, I have eye drops, hair clip, my two glasses, my two pairs of contacts, a hair clip, and in these canisters I got from Ikea, they were around 4 to $5, no more than $5 for sure. You can find these at the kitchen section. Here I have my face brushes and here I have my eye brushes. Here I have my only two double-ended makeup brushes. I have beads in here that are from Michaels. And I have Real Technique brushes, I have MAC brushes, I have Sigma brushes, and they all, or pretty much all of them, have brush guards. I really do like these canisters. I really think they're nice looking and they're really, really nice ceramic material. But the thing is, as you can see, I've, I'm getting too many brushes. So I really do love these, but I'm going to have to change them just because I have too many brushes. Eye brushes here, I have Real Technique, Sigma, Kirkland. Essence of Beauty, which I love, MAC, Sigma, Sedona Lace, all that. Hairbrushes, I have my headband, uh, scrunchie, and my Q-tips that I got at the dollar store. I have some tissue here. This is like a glass kind of container for candy. I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but I have some hair ties and ribbons and stuff like that. I have this bracelet, another headband. Now I'm going to share with you all what's inside the Alex. I got the Alex for $120 here in the United States, obviously in any other country it might cost more or less depending on where you live. But before I show you what's in the drawers, I'm going to share with you all what's on top. I got these from a garage sale actually, but you can get them at Ikea, they're from Ikea. And as far as I know you can still get them, but here I have lotion, some almond oil for my hair, some bio silk, some supplements, some hand sanitizers, travel size shampoos. I have a DIY on reusing makeup containers. I have perfume. That's pretty much it. In this back one I have a bunch of brush guards. 
and I have new makeup brushes. So I have this brand new MAC Kabuki that I've never used. And I have more MAC brushes that I've never used. So yes, I have a bunch of brushes there. Usually I do my makeup standing up right here. But usually because it's so far away, I don't tend to reach for these palettes. So I'm probably going to be putting these somewhere in the Alex when I get my vanity table. But anyways... I have my Coastal Scents 88 Warm Palette, 88 Color Palette, my 26 Shadow Blush Combo Palette, and I have the 6 Blush and Contour, and this is my MAC Palette, my Neutrals Palette. Again, if you want to see any close-ups or all of them, feel free to let me know. Here I just have my Dolce & Gabbana Rose The One Perfume. Here I have an old candle in the holder, I guess you can call it, and inside I have some cotton pads and some sponges. Here I have some water, I reused the container. I have some cleansing water. I have a body spray, which I really like. I have the Korean equivalent, I guess you can say, of MAC Fix Plus. I have my Touch Face Auto Makeup Device. I have a review, a video. It's basically a machine which applies your foundation for you. It's really, really great. I have my Travel Size SK2 Facial Treatment Lotion, which I love. I have my eye gel, which I did my little haul on. I definitely recommend it if you're on the lookout for a really inexpensive, really effective eye gel. I have this Hello Kitty phone charm that my mom got me. I just leave it there. I have some bobby pins. I have some scented hand sanitizer and just some Purell. And of course, my very favorite, Carmex. I have my hair ties and hair when I do my makeup hair thing. I don't know what to call it. Now I'm going to show you what's inside of here and not all of it has makeup <laughs> but in this first drawer it's pretty much the products that I alternate between on a regular basis. So I don't use all these products every day but I, the products that I do use are in here so it just depends on if my skin needs more moisturizer or you know what concealer I want to use but this is pretty much like everyday type of stuff. So here I have moisturizers serum from skin food i have primers i have eyebrow pencils these two trays i got at walmart they were three for one dollar and ten cents in here i just have my holy grail foundation i have a bunch of concealers everything from makeup forever to revlon to elf i have a sh sharpener powder powder kabuki brush two containers i got at daiso you can get them. I've seen them at the 99 cent store though. So definitely go check this, them out. I got three of these for $1. So I have a serum, I have BB cream, and I have sunscreen. So that's pretty much what's in the first drawer. This is an... <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm getting more obsessed with blush because I have a lot of blush now. So in here, this is the same as in my first makeup collection video. A majority of my MSFs. And then I have more here. Back of my Paradise, but I'm not sure if you can see, but I have a bunch more in there. I have my Coastal Scents blush palette, my MAC blush palette, my Only Sleek blush, MAC Archie Girl. This I also got at Daiso, but as you can see, it is longer than this one. These trays I got two for a dollar, but they're still really great. And again, I have seen these at the dollar store, so you can definitely find these. So here I have my blushes. I have Tarte. I have NYX. I have Milani. I have Bobbi Brown. I have a majority of these are MAC. I have the Balm. I have Laura Geller. Backups. So everything in there. Again, if you want to see a specific video just on my blushes, then feel free to let me know. Next is my lip stuff. So... Again, like I said, got this at Walmart, got this at Daiso. I made a DIY on these kind of lipstick holders. When I have all my lipsticks, I have MAC, Revlon, Chanel, my only Chanel. It's my only Chanel and I love it. Clinique, Estee Lauder. Here I have my lip butters. I have Wet n Wild. In this blue tray, I have lip balms, balm stains. I have Etude House, Revlon. Majority of them are red Revlon this Sephora and in this longer one I have all of my lip glosses I have NYX, NYC, Revlon, MAC and in this one which I also got at Walmart I have all my new unused 
lip products. They're, a majority of them are lipsticks. And the reason why I have them in here is because I rather have them unopened than open and me not using them and then me having to toss them out. So I rather have them here. I have never opened them. They're just here for whenever I may need them or maybe I don't want to give away. So you never know. My eye drawer. Like I said, it goes in order. I have my eyebrow razors. You can get this at the dollar store and I love these. I have my favorite, favorite eyelash curler. I honestly think this is better than the Shu Mura one. This is the Shiseido one and I really, really love this. I have makeup tools, so like makeup remover, eyebrow razors, primers, eyeliners, sample size mascara because I don't wear mascara. NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencils, all that. Here I just have eyeshadows. Majority of them are MAC. I have this e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I have my four Rockin' Republic eyeshadows, which I love. These are really, really awesome. My pigment samples, I got this container at the 99 cent store. And I just have pigment vials, pigment samples. I don't have a full pigment because I probably would never use it, nor finish it up. Next is my drugstore palette drawer so i have wet n wild milani revlon chroma nyx elf and here i just have masks so korean masks korean mask <laughs> shiseido sk2 so here are all my masks it's kind of like a work in progress drawer this is my palette drawer this thing is the same one is the same size as this one it's from ikea you can get it at ikea here I have all my like smaller palettes, quads. Most of these are MAC. So like my favorite MAC quad ever. Ones that I have not opened, used. K Von D. Of course, my Naked Basics palette. Two Naked palettes, Nude Tude, Meet Matte Nude. My two Lorac palettes that I hauled. End of last year, I still have not used. I'm not gonna lie. So Pro Palette Unzipped. These two are Tarte. And I love this drawer, I really do. This one, that are just brand new. So here I have my Shiseido Facial Cotton. I have a mirror. I have new palettes. I have the MAC Hello Kitty bag. I have Etude House. This is a backup of my HD bronzer. This is my Holy Grail eyeliner. So whenever there's a Wet n Wild sale, I get a bunch. Wet n Wild, skincare, MAC, like I said. Just everything that's new and I have not used, I have it in here. That's pretty much it for my makeup. This one isn't makeup related at all. This one, well, it has my back to MAC stuff. So this is back to MAC. I finished my foundation, so it's back to MAC. And here I just have eyeshadows that I have depotted. I have to go back to MAC. I have some nail tools here. Nail polish remover. A Dior bag that I got for free. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this container. I originally wanted to do something and now I don't know I have a Sigma brush, travel size brush thing that I got as a gift, more nail polish remover. And in this blue tray, I actually got this from my local thrift store and it was like 50 cents or a dollar. And in here I have all my nail polishes. I strictly just want to have this drawer just for nail polishes. I don't want any more nail polishes than this. I got all these sinful color ones. They were on sale for a dollar, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I have a bunch of sinful colors. I have Wet n Wild. These two I really do like the colors. I have OPI. I have Essie, China Glaze. I have Sephora by OPI. This was the hype a couple years ago here on YouTube. And I don't know if I'm a noob, as you can tell. I don't like wearing... I have these phases where I love nail polishes, and I will wear them all the time. And then right now, it's just kind of like I don't want to wear them. But this was the biggest hype ever here on YouTube. And I don't know if it's because I'm a noob or whatever, but I don't... I don't like this at all. So if you're thinking about buying it, I wouldn't recommend it. I really don't like this stuff. So that's that. In my last drawer, like I said, it's not makeup. It's kind of like goodies that I could give out. So I have fake eyelashes. I don't wear fake eyelashes. I don't even wear mascara, so I just got this and I have it. So nothing really exciting here. Just stuff that I might give away or when if I do a swap with someone, I could just toss those little 
samples or things in there. That is all of my makeup collection storage, how I organize everything. I sincerely hope you all enjoy the video. Again, if you want to see specific anything, feel free to let me know. I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!